my name is Darren Stockton, and I was a professional road and mountain bike racer, downhill mountain bike racer, for a lot of years on the World Cup circuit, and I've previously done design work for both Maxxis tires and Intense tires, a lot of design work. These two new tires here for Panaracer, uh, the Romero, which is our hard pack tire, and the Aliso, which is our more soft condition tire. Some of the cool design features on the Romero and what I was going for compared to other tires um, that are more for, you know, hard, drier conditions was to give a little bit more control once you're leaned over and in the pocket. And so the details on the center knob that's siped allows it to uh, transition smoother and allow the tire to initiate and turn into the corners easier, which is maybe one of the drawbacks of going to the bigger wheels. They can sometimes seem, you know, a little lazy to turn in. And so we sought to do that, uh, work on that design stuff by the knob detail and also the spacing between the uh, exiting edge of the center knobs and that initiating edge of the outer knobs and create a wider pocket so you could turn into it easier. And then also once in that pocket, you had a lot of feel of what it's gonna do. So once you start to get out onto the edges, you get a good signaling as to when it's gonna start going, you know, it's gonna let go. Um, so those would be the main features of, of the hard pack tire of the Romero. And on the Aliso, our soft condition tire, which is a more traditional square edged tire, we still wanted to, to give many of the design qualities of a good square edge tire that inside edge of your outer row of knobs are all in line. You can, you know, drop into, uh, into a corner and really ride that inside, lead, uh, inside edge of those outer knobs around. What we sought to do with the Aliso as well, uh, since Panaracer doesn't have 30 patterns in each category, and also we noticed that people who ride a lot more with tubeless tires aren't just quick to switch their tires around for every single changing condition. We kept a lot of those great features of a square edge tire, smaller knob tops, you know, good uh, clearing qualities, but also just broadened the tops of the center knobs a little bit so that it would ride better when you went from softer dirt into harder dirt and also with the integrity of the side knobs did that too. So we feel like we struck a really good balance between it still working well in soft conditions, but if you're out in soft and you're riding somewhere and the dirt's a little bit harder, you're not gonna feel like you're riding hard dirt on a real squirmy soft condition tire. Sizing, uh, we sell both these models in 27.5 and 29 in 2.4 and 2.6. And we have two casing versions. We have um, an ST, our super tough, which would be more of like your downhill or you know heavier enduro casing if you ride where it's rocky a lot or want that extra protection, maybe want to drop the pressure down a little bit more. And then we have our HO casing, which is a high output casing, and that's a little bit lighter casing where if you want a little bit lighter tire and a little bit better roll speed that you have that casing option to do. I tend to usually run this, for me personally, I tend to usually run the same tires front and rear. We've found that some people have been liking throwing this Aliso on the rear, mated with a Romero front. Myself, if I was going to pair these together, I would actually go the opposite way. Only because the Romero has a little more slide to it, and so on the back end of the bike, it will come around a little bit, whereas the front end is stuck in. But really, I mean, tire preference, that's why you got to get on your tires and ride them. What I'll do a lot of times where I ride in Santa Barbara where I live, it's pretty rocky. So two sixes are nice, but if I'm going to mix and match like but the same model, I'll run a two six on the front to get a little bit more float and a little more traction over things and then put the two four on the rear so it's a little bit narrow, cuts in a little bit better and rolls a little faster.